Hi guys, so from the other day when I had my Arteza haul, this is one of the things that I had picked up and I was really excited to try it out and I am excited to try it out. It's the Arteza um, acrylic markers. So basically they have uh, acrylic paint in them and it says that they have reusable, replaceable tips, um, 40 bright colors, quick drying, low odor ink, water-based, UV resistant, blendable and acid free. So um, I'm gonna try these out with like I showed you guys, the reason I like these kind of pens, it reminds me of the things I used to do back like in the 90s and when I, especially when I was in the sorority house, we put names on everything. I belonged to a sorority, Aflacy Delta, um, back in the day and uh, really nice girls. And um, we would do stuff like this all the time. So like I showed you guys, I put my name on this just with another acrylic marker that I have laying around. Now, these are waterproof to a certain extent, but not completely. So if you scrub this, it's gonna start coming off, right? So if you just wash it real quickly, it's fine, but um, kind of gloss over that area wherever you have that. But what we would do is always like decorate little glass jars and put candy in them and things like that, right? Of course. Oh, sorry guys, I jumped right in. I forgot to mention that if you click on any of the links, uh, uh, there will be affiliate links with Arteza. Um, so that means I make a small commission if you were to click on those links. I uh, really appreciate it. Okay, so let's continue. Open this up. Like it says, there's 40 colors. Um, they are bright colors. They're really pretty. I'm going to try out... I. <laughs> This is what's uh, hard for me to do because I don't know how often I'm going to use these like all the time. So I don't really want to open them all up and get them all going and swatch them all because, you know, I don't want the tips to dry out after a while or whatever that they might do. It takes a long time for something like that to happen, but it might happen, right? Because I have other pens that are super old that finally happen with. So it has these replaceable pens and it has a little thing so you can pull them out with tweezer because obviously your hands are going to get all uh, inky or paint, I guess. But what's cool about these tips is that um, there's a chisel tip. I don't know if you can see that. The chisel and then a pointy tip. So I will definitely try those uh, options out for you. There's tons of them. Um, and I don't know if once you take it out, if you keep the other one kind of like in a Ziploc and then you can switch it back or wash it out or, you know, I guess we'll try those kind of things. Um, but let me show you just a little bit about these pens. So let me take like this pink one. Actually, they're already opened anyway. I just, you know, I'm going to give them a shake. Um... Yep, well, let me put the lid back on just in case. This is shake, pump, and draw. So I know people use these to actually do like a whole uh, uh, art project, right? Like actually paint with them. So maybe we might try that out too on some paper, I don't know. So I'm just patiently giving it a pump, pushing down until you start seeing the color come down and I can start seeing it already. Can you see that? Let me get a little bit closer. And it's just filling in. I'm not even pushing it anymore. And it's still like soaking in there. Hmm. I probably don't even have to push it anymore. Let's see. Yep. Pretty nice. Um, and I was in a super dry, but it doesn't really smear that easy. I mean, I'm sure if I pull on it, it'll probably smear, but that's pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. These are some interesting things. Um, so that is a very, very bright pink, as you can see, and that one is called Fluorescent Peach. Okay, well, if that's peach, let's see. Uh, true Red. Um, of course, on their site, they show you the different color swatches. I just kind of wanted to play with these a little bit just to see what they're like. Um, okay, here it comes. I can see the color. I think I forgot to shake it first. That one was a little bit watery. I can see it's still wet looking where this one came out a little bit drier. Wow, this is fun stuff. Okay, um, let me grab a few other things. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? We'll try to switch one of these out right now. So again, if you weren't gonna use that tip to begin with, you could have just pulled it out and not got it saturated. But since I didn't think of it, I'm going to try and there we go. I use this back clippy thing. And it, on the other side, it has a pointy nib also. So the difference here is you have that fat round nib that a lot of markers come with. You have this side. I'm going to be kind of gentle with that. I pushed it in. It kind of popped back out. So I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. Um, and this one's going to be a little bit pointier, I suppose. Yeah. 
a little bit finer. Not too much of a difference. But I guess if you want to make like small dots and things, it's going to work better for you. And then I pull that out. <laughs> and of course you're going to put that on a different surface somewhere else. And I'll push this one in. I'm going to use my hand because why not? And I'm going to let the paint come down on this one. So what I was trying to say is I don't know if you can like take this and then just wash it out or just put it away and let the paint not dry and then replace it. I mean, only time will tell on that one. I can't really replicate that right now or make that happen, you know what I'm saying, to dry out. But um, I'm assuming you can probably keep it in like a little baggie. You may put the name on the baggie so you know which one it goes back to. So this is, again, uh, True Red. And let me see. Yeah, so that is your chisel. And then also, if you use the very tip of it, you can also make little tiny lines or use it. In a way, I kind of like the chisel on this one because you can fill in a lot of color or you can use that other side to make, you know, write really nicely or small or finely. Let me try to lay it down. Kind of works with your uh, lettering. I'm not really great at <laughs> doing lettering with chisel tips, but as you can see, you can get that thickness and thinness. You just have to kind of turn it and go. Pretty nice. And then, of course, on the other side is basically the same as the other tip, right? Let me try to bring this out. It's another fine tip, just like this one. So I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to grab a few things to maybe do a little quick something with and uh, we'll try them okay, out. So I just grabbed some things. Like I said, we usually make projects. So like, you know, I don't know. I'm going to switch this around. This is the blue ink. I probably should have just switched it before I started <laughs> uh, messing with it. I could have just switched it out. Okay. So interesting. Okay. So I have these uh, from Local King, these little magic mushrooms. And on the top, you know, I look at it, I can kind of see the blue through them. I like to keep them in their cases instead of just leave them sitting out. But what I was thinking is I can just come in here and then just write blue, right, um, with my lettering. And you can do this however you like, but this is the kind of lettering I used to like to do. This feels very watery on here. And then I go and put little dots on the beginnings and ends of the letters just to be a little more decorative and now it says blue <laughs> right and I'll let that dry I'm gonna say this one felt very watery it's probably because that edge came in from the other look I like the way they match up over each other a little bit translucent really cute okay let me put that one aside and let's say <clears throat> this red one So yeah, that blue one felt more watery. This one feels more thick and opaque. And I just do the lettering and then you put little circle dots. Do you guys remember that kind of thing? And even on the D, we would put like a little dot maybe down here too, but I'm gonna leave it alone for now or where it matches up right here. But that's the kind of thing I like to do. So now you have that. And so now when I look at the very top, I can see really quickly what's what. Where's that pink one? The pink one's a little more translucent. And I'm gonna use the rounded tip on this one just to see. Again, this says it's peach, but I'm calling it pink. <laughs> here and here and here. Cute. And then again, like I said, get yourself a little jar, look at the Dollar Tree and put the person's name on it, do little flowers. I used to always like making little flowers, just like little basic flowers, like this kind of thing. And then you come in with your green or whatever. So these used to be, well, obviously they're different brands, but um, <clears throat> super expensive, right? For each pen. And I used to use the Painters. I think they're Elmer's brand or something like that. And, you know, they're a few bucks each one. So, uh, college student a little cost prohibitive so I would just get like a pink a green and like a black you know just to write people's names and then have something to decorate with but um and then we just do stuff like that and keep going you know and just all over your little jar or whatever it is so I will definitely keep using these for different projects to try them out um I'll bring this back and maybe do a little flower like we just did again just like a little doodle flower obviously they don't have to be perfect um, wherever. 
And then I would come in and do little leaves or I would do like little vines all around. Did I touch that one? Yep, I touched it before it dried. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick. Since this is acrylic water base, you can probably wash something off if you didn't like the way it looked before it really dries and then move on. Um, I'm gonna come back to this because these are still a little bit wet, but let's do some little leaves like this here and there. And then, you know, like I said, we would do little vines and then maybe some more leaves. I mean, just whatever. Obviously it's your little art and it all looks really cute together. I mean, kind of see what I'm doing there. And then I'll come back with the green and just put a little dot in the center of the flowers. So really cute. And let me grab some paper and see how they work on that. Okay, so I have their space black. Uh, I was getting it going from the one side. I probably should do this a little better. So this had started off on the inside of the marker. And then I turned it around because I thought, oh, I should just turn it so I can start pumping in and get it going. So sorry, I'm just... Trying to see if it's actually coming through or if that's just from when it was on the other side. I think it's ready. Okay. <clears throat> and this is just some um, Crafter's Companion stamping paper. Okay, and so I guess all I'm going to do is doodle. So it's, again, it's really thick paper, I guess comparable to like Bristol or I don't know what. But um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to start doing some doodling. <clears throat> Um, I'm open. And I'm just making some little lines. So we can do some different stuff. I kind of like zigzags. <laughs> so there we go. Sorry guys. Um, just trying to see how quickly it might uh, do its thing here. So I can see already the um, black is drying pretty well. It feels really nice. I mean, it's acrylic paint. I think there's so much you can do with it. Like even these are already drying, which is nice. <clears throat> and there are tons of things you can do with this stuff. Now I left this sitting out like, you know, a dummy. I should have put it into a plastic bag and I can see that it's kind of drying out a little bit. And you know what I'll do? I'll switch it out back to this one to see if it can uh, keep going, right? Instead of just drying out and being unusable. Um, there's literally nothing, I don't know what, I'm just <laughs> trying this out on here. And maybe color in a whole section just to see how this might color. Now I'm obliterating these tips. This one I left it sticking out way too far and I pushed all the way in and I kind of messed up the tip of it. It still works for this purpose, but um, you know, just make sure it's not uh, in there too far if there's something, if you want to keep it nice and pristine, obviously. It should sit in to your pen more, like, uh, where is it? Not that one, oopsie. Like this, if you can see how it sits in a little better. So just make sure it goes all the way in instead of sticking out this much on top the way I have it there. Mm, you know, I'm coloring with it. I don't know. I don't really have an ends to what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to darken this up a little bit. Not bad. This is not the purpose I would get them for because like I said, I like to just kind of use them to decorate other things, but um, they dry. They look nice. Really, really cute. Um, and then I think they did say that they're blendable. I don't know how blendable they are, but let's try a different green with the leaves. Or, hmm. Let me get this one going and I'll be okay, right back. This green's kind of like a teal, so I don't know if we want to try to blend these things, but let me see. Oh, they're still kind of wet. Um, I'm gonna start over here down some of that teal get some of the blue color down I mean you can kind of see where the one ends and the other begins but I guess 
I don't know if you would call that blending other than just kind of being right next to each other and a little bit obliterated. I don't know. That's a tough one. So for my purposes, like I said, I like this kind of thing to decorate with and I think it's going to be really fun. Again, look, as if I'm using this, I can go right over the other color and I will completely cover it up because it's acrylic paint. <laughs> so, um, it's, you know, it's not really going to reactivate the other one unless you really keep messing with it. But again, I can completely cover up other areas. So I think it has a lot of per uses. I think, of course, for the uses that I want it for is basically just to make, you know, personalize things and do cute stuff like that. But um, really nice set. I, you know, inexpensive in my opinion for what it is. Um, and one last thing we we're gonna do is switch this back and see what happens because I'm not sure. Let me get this one out. And let's put this one back in. Let me see. So as you can see, it's pretty dry, right? It's not doing much. So let's get this in here. And I'm gonna pump it, pump it, pump it to try to get it working again. Oh, it got its juice pretty quick. There you go. All right, pretty cool. So hopefully that kind of answers that question. I would definitely put it in a baggie though. I don't think it's cute to just leave it sitting out because maybe after a while it'll get even more like of a skin on it, you know what I'm saying? Because it is acrylic paint, um, but it worked pretty well. So thanks for watching guys. Um, uh, the links will be in the description box and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.